Thank you. Good morning, all. Thank you for coming. I grew up in rural Lancashire. As a young boy, I learnt by playing. I fell out of trees. I fell in rivers. I caught fish, not at the same time. I got cuts and bruises. These became the badges of my success. I had good, caring parents who encouraged me to go into the outdoors. I got cold. I got wet. I got frightened. But what a life. What an upbringing. I developed some core values. When we're young, we, have, we, we develop these values and beliefs that are fundamental. We are who we are because of the way we were brought up. So what's all this got to do with Mongolia? Well, it's why I'm here. It's to do with the future of Mongolian children. And it's about helping human development in Mongolia. Remember now that the children present are the future leaders, managers, teachers, and doctors of the future. But what is the present situation? Well, there's about 800,000 people come to the city in the last 20 years. By 2035, it's expected to become 75% of the country's population. That's similar to Australia, which is highly urbanized and yet low population density, where the natural population growth in the urban areas is much higher. Why do they come? Well, ZUD, climate change, desertification, pollution, computers, denim jeans, stardom, TEDx Ulaanbaatar. This isn't about politics, it's not about corruption, roads, railways, drinking water, schools, family planning, garbage disposal. These are important, but they're somebody else's issue. It's the people, and specifically the children, who are the most important aspects of Mongolia. These young people will shape the future of the country. We need to equip them with the basic skills and empower them to use these skills for the greater good. Like when I was a kid. The current situation though is a dramatic and continuing uncontrolled urbanization. Some people call it environmental refugees. So, we have the situation of the missing generation where young children, adolescents and young adults have lost or are in danger of losing their love of and respect for the countryside. This missing generation are missing out on the important aspects of growing up, whole child development by play, adventure and discovery in the outdoors. They're moving away from traditions to internet games, learning to shoot each other, steal cars and race one another, what are they learning? Computer skills, keyboard, competitiveness? Hmm, not sure. But let's give them the chance for some outdoor education where it gives them real learning in the countryside. P helping prepare the future human resources for the modern Mongolia. Let's bring together Mongolians' traditional love of and respect for the countryside by using a modern approach to outdoor education, where we can give youth a structured, informal or formal approach to adventure activities, carefully facilitated by Mongolian role models. Adventure activities are the vehicle that we use for outdoor education. Adventure activities are fun, safe, memorable, pertinent, and accessible to all needs and abilities also includes environmental discovery. The importance of educating young people for a sustainable future, for countryside stewardship, and developing their personal responsibility is so very important. Outdoor education helps personal and social development, developing core values and beliefs. It's about what is acceptable behavior in the countryside. It fosters an I can achieve 
attitude. It allows reflection and review for self-discovery. Outdoor education encourages teamworking and understanding of individual strengths. Outdoor education fosters knowledge of problem solving and decision making. It develops trust and respect for one another. It builds accountability and honesty, self-confidence and overcome fears. Outdoor education builds good communicators, self-reliance, trust and integrity with the individual. Outdoor education requires young people to plan and manage their time in an efficient and effective way. But we have some challenges to overcome. Philosophy. Mongolians are quite skeptical about new ideas, new techniques. There needs to be ownership from Mongolians. It's not about me telling Mongolia what to do. It's about me encouraging Mongolians to help themselves throughout their education. Mongolians will become the facilitators, the young role models. We have a lack of international standard equipment presently. A dream would be to have an outdoor education center available to all. There are obvious benefits to communities where young people will have a much higher self-esteem. Young people will have skills and competencies that will become, help them become managers and leaders. Young people will develop a practical approach to problem solving and team working. Young people as effective communicators will become highly reliable and time conscious. Young people will become accountable for their behavior in the environment, preparing them for the global future. There are some hidden benefits to outdoor education as well. Young people will become healthier, all that fresh air, reducing the financial burden on public health care. There will be a reduction in juvenile petty crime, reducing the burden on police. Young, empowered Mongolians will have less reliance on orphanages and other institutions. Highly aware young people tend to away from drugs and towards fostering community spirit and social enterprise. Young people, therefore, become more valuable and productive members of the community. Outdoor education is a way of fulfilling the future needs of our youth while maintaining that traditional love of and respect for the countryside. Therefore, bringing back that missing generation. Outdoor education is really for honoring tradition and designing the future. Ladies and gentlemen, let's empower our Mongolian youth to be better citizens of the future. Let's work together with outdoor education. Thank you very much. <laughs>